a bit of Arabian culture in a Berlin museum. Sheikh Khaled Jufali is providing a westernized face of Saudi Arabia. Prince Sultan bin Salam is in traditional dress. Both share a single mission. They want to improve Saudi Arabia's reputation in the world. Jufali is supporting the exhibition with a 50,000 euro donation. It's taking the archaeological treasures of his country around the world. It's a one way or another of advertising Saudi Arabia in a, in a heritage and in a, in a historical way as well. That we care about history, we care about people, we care about um, you know, all different kinds of uh, people, of religions, of uh, ethnic backgrounds as well. The artworks have already traveled to St. Petersburg, Barcelona, and Paris. They'll soon go to Washington and Asia. Jufali travels to Germany once a month, where his days are filled with business meetings. The firm he runs in Riyadh represents made-in-Germany technology brands like Mercedes, Bosch, and Siemens. His ties to Germany are not a coincidence. Jufali's grandmother is German. We learned a lot from my grandmother. When we put something on our plate, we have to finish it. That comes from after the war, and that we should be punctual. I haven't totally got the hang of that. But today he arrives right on time for this meeting with a group of businessmen. He wants to expand his partnership network and establish new joint ventures. His main aim is to attract more medium-sized companies to Saudi Arabia. Thank you. We're a bit in competition. <laughs> what I have to do is promote Saudi Arabia because there is always uh, a taboo about the Arab world. I mean, and there is, uh, you know, they don't know much about Saudi Arabia, what it is. And, you know, they look at it uh, as a fundamentalist state, although Saudi Arabia is really a very open country. Open, at least for trade. Every year, Germany exports 6 billion euros worth of goods and services to Saudi Arabia. Thanks to high oil prices, Jufali's homeland has lots of money to spend. He thinks it's a good opportunity for German firms to invest in the country. Jufali is accompanied by the German industry representative in Saudi Arabia, who's also promoting economic ties between the countries. There is growth potential in the automotive sector and in the foodstuffs industry. There is also a desire to build up industries that create sustainable employment and invest in future technologies, like the areas of renewable energy and energy efficiency. Jufali also has a meeting at the German Transport Ministry. He's not just one of the most important businessmen in his country, he also represents numerous other Saudi firms. The German Minister for Transport, Peter Ramzawa, jokes with Jufali about his lack of traditional Saudi dress before they get down to business. They're discussing huge infrastructural investments into roads and railways in Saudi Arabia, projects worth almost 8 billion euros this year alone. But this is where we have to leave them. The talks are confidential, and our cameras have to move outside. <laughs>